What are the differences between Medicaid planning and estate planning? Well, first off, most people think that they don't need Medicaid planning because they don't qualify for Medicaid. And that is not necessarily true. Medicaid is not an impoverishment program when it comes to a married couple. And for a single person, it doesn't have to be an impoverishment program if you meet certain exceptions. So having a Medicaid plan should be a part of your estate plan unless you have so many assets, your estate is so large that you have a taxable estate. And in the state of Washington, a taxable estate is a bit over $4 million for a married couple, over $2 million for a single person. So if your estate is a taxable estate, you likely are doing estate planning that makes sure you use trusts and other planning techniques so that you don't have to pay unnecessary estate tax on your death to the state of Washington. If you do not have a taxable estate, then your estate plan likely should include Medicaid planning provisions in your estate plan. What are Medicaid planning provisions? Well, in your will, if you are a married couple, you should have an asset protection supplemental needs trust. What that is, is that is a trust that is funded on the death of the first spouse. All of their assets go into this trust and then the state and Medicaid won't count those assets as belonging to the surviving spouse. That means that the surviving spouse needs long-term care, they don't need to spend down all of those assets. So it leaves a nest egg for the surviving spouse. Even if they need long-term care, they will never become impoverished. Really important to have that asset protection trust in your will.